Once again, thanks for tuning in. The Holly Shields here for Calco Media. Looking to boost portfolio returns? Here are five simple strategies. But first, please give our channel a sub and hit that bell icon to stay ahead of the game. Equity bond balance, even as stocks come with higher asks, experts advise to keep a manageable balance of equities and bonds in an investment portfolio. Such a combination has higher chances of delivering better returns with low volatility. If average inflation adjusted returns are considered, stocks are better performance compared to bonds. Therefore, equity investing can help to increase returns to make investing a rewarding venture. Small firms may help. Historically, an investment portfolio with small to mid-sized companies have delivered higher returns compared to the ones packed with large-sized companies. It's happened despite smaller firms carrying higher risk than larger firms. According to this small cap theory, international small companies have consistently outperformed international large companies in terms of returns over the last many decades. Value versus growth companies. Value companies have outperformed growth companies ever since index trading has been in existence. Experts refer to this as the value effect. An investment portfolio with a higher contribution of value firms compared to growth firms has historically provided higher investment returns. Several value companies offer an annual dividend payout for investors, which adds to the gross return of investors. It may help if the stock's price has a slow appreciation for the particular year. Diversified Portfolio Investors can look to diversify their portfolio by adding multiple asset classes that are different in nature like stocks, REITs, commodities, global bonds, etc. However, investors must maintain an appropriate percentage allocation to each class. An efficient mix can help to cut down overall portfolio risk and increase expected return. Different asset classes have different correlations with each other. For instance, commodities have a low correlation to stocks. This can help to bring down the overall portfolio risk and enhance expected returns. Rebalancing the portfolio. It's been commonly seen that an investment portfolio drifts away from its original asset classes with time. Thus, it's critical to rebalance the portfolio. A 50-50 stock to bond mix could easily become a 60-40 stock to bond mix following a strong market rally. Investors can achieve rebalancing by adding fresh cash to the underweighted portion of the portfolio, selling a part of the overweighted piece and adding to this the underweighted class, or talking withdrawals from the overweighted asset class. Managing expenses also plays a major role as it has a direct impact on the cost of your investment. Active management is significantly costlier than passive investing. Generally, the annual expense difference between active and passive management stands at nearly 1%. Implementing said strategies like value and size could add to the investor's annual return. Investors should also closely track the portfolio expenses, since lowering these costs could further add to returns. Now that you're up to speed, check out some of our other videos to boost your financial IQ. If you like this info, please give us a like, comment and a share. For regular updates, head to our website at calkindmedia.com. This has been Holly Shields for Calkind Media.